So now we are going to talk about the another natural resource that is forest and wildlife. So what is the link to the forest to us? Forest is a very important natural resource. There are so many products from the forest which we use in our daily life. Mainly wood that is used to make paper or furniture that comes from the forest. So forest is an important natural resource. The disturbance to this natural resource or over exploitation of this natural resource, it leads to so many problems. Many of you may think that, of course, I'm not connected to the forest produce. I'm not concerned to this forest because, of course, some of us may get some alternatives. Everybody of us use forest produce. Sometimes you may take some alternative. You may say that I'm not using any wooden furniture, sir. I'm using plastic. So I'm not dependent on forest produce. I'm not using any herbal products. I use all synthetic products. So I'm not concerned. But some people that they have connection with the forest. So here when we are discussing the issue about the forest and wildlife, we have to discuss about the stakeholders. Means the people that are connected to the forest. Here we have four groups of people. See, who are they? The first one is tribals tribals or people who live in forest who live close to the forest who are living in the surroundings of forest who make use of the forest product at the same time they contribute for the the existence of the forest for the protection of the forest those are the tribals so they take very important role in conservation of the forest. Of course, they use the forest product, but they do not cause any damage to the forest. So the one thing is tribals. The second one is industrialist. So the industrialists are looking for the forest product. They wanted the wood. They want the take from the forest. They want the pine from the forest. So they cut off the forest. So in the auction, they buy the land with the trees, they cut all the trees. So once some area is cleared, they go to the other area. They are not bothered what happens to the forest land, which is deforestated. So that is not their issue. So the second people, those who are connected to the forest are industrialists. Some people, they wanted some forest land for some industrial purpose, for establishment, or dealing with the sale and purchase of the forest product. Those are the industrialists. The third one is forest department. So this forest department, it has the role of protecting the forest, forest land and forest product. And if we see the other group, nature enthusiasts, nature enthusiasts. So if you see this, these three groups, they have some benefit. Forest department people, while working for the forest, they get some payment as a salary. They are benefited. Tribals, as they are living in the forest, of course, they help the forest. At the same time, they get benefit from the forest. So their livelihood, everything is from the forest products. So tribals, they have benefit. And industrialists, they get very rich profits. They buy all the forest product or wood at very less price, cheaper price. They sell it at a very high price and so they are very much benefited. So here, the last group, nature enthusiasts, they are not benefited by any way. Only thing is they have the curiosity, they have the interest of protecting the forest. So that is the reason these people are also concerned and connected to this issue, the forest and wildlife. So what is that necessity of conserving the forest and wildlife? So forest, it consists of so many plants. Forest is not a collection of plant and animals. It includes so many organisms and all these organisms living together, interactions depending on each other. So it creates a diversity, various species living together. So this diversity, it is a symbol of ecological stability. If this diversity is lost, a particular area of forest is cleared, then what happens? Various animals living in that area, they get dispersed and they become extinct and you may not be able to find those animals again. 
so we lose biodiversity so the loss of diversity it leads to ecological loss of ecological stability ecological stability is lost so the ecological stability is lost it brings so many disturbances in the food chains food webs certain organisms grow in large number certain organisms totally disappear so it leads to disturbance in the food chains it causes so many problems if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus